The ever-evolving situation with Cyberpunk 2077 somehow just got even more confusing. Not too long ago, we heard how the next-gen version of Cyberpunk and The Witcher 3 were getting delayed into 2022, but now CDPR also just quietly revealed that there is just no more content coming to Cyberpunk in 2021 at all. No more updates, no more free DLCs, and probably we just won't hear much of anything until the end of the year when they have an earnings call, otherwise probably nothing till next year. And all this kind of revealed without any real explanation, but even further, at the same time, we have, may have just also gotten news that they're working on another cyberpunk game, which makes the entire situation all the more confusing. So in this video, I want to break down what's going on here, all the various things that happened in 2021, because it seems like we kind of got everything already. Although before we fully jump into that, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, Asphalt 9 Legends. This is a completely free to download arcade race game, and honestly, you're kind of just reenacting the modern Fast and Furious movies when you play this one. And you, yes, you can play this, because it's available basically everywhere on Xbox, PC, and even mobile. I'm not even gonna lie, I got kind of sweaty playing this game. It's gonna draw you in and bring out that inner competitive spirit, which for me involved a lot of raging when I actually lost races. Even to the AI sometimes, I was down bad at some points. But it's not just racing versus AI, this also does have a full-fledged multiplayer mode with seasons, so you can play against others or even your friends if you want want things to get truly heated, and along the way actually collect and customize, including upgrade, a ton of different vehicles, including some pretty epic ones. And if you are playing on Xbox, you get some cool benefits, like 4K and 120fps on Xbox Series X, and even cross-save for both PC and Xbox with Xbox Play Anywhere. Or if you don't have any of those things, you can always resort to mobile. So with that said, use my link in the description, you can get Asphalt 9 totally for free right now. But okay, looking first at this situation with no more updates coming to Cyberpunk in 2021. It's a super bizarre one. It's basically what happened was late on October 28th, which depending on where you were, was late on Thursday night. CD Projekt Red quietly updated their R Commitment to Quality website. That being the one that released in January of this year when the controversies were at their peak, only a month or so after Cyberpunk did release in general. And the change made to the website was they actually updated this roadmap. If you could really call it a roadmap, it was always super vague, but what it used to look like was this, and then it was was updated to look like this, which basically confirms that the last update we got for Cyberpunk, that being patch 1.31, would seemingly mark the end of the patches for 2021. All of the future fixes, free DLCs, etc. would be in 2022. So this is perplexing for a number of reasons, and just right off the bat, it was the communication, and really that there just wasn't any communication. I was fully ready to actually post this video yesterday, but I was just waiting in case they somehow had a late Friday Friday night press release or something explaining what was going on, especially as the story started to gain a bit more traction, but no, they just did this. Which, okay, that's one approach you definitely could take, but the other half of this that is really confusing is the timeline of patches now. The last major patch, and I would really say the last real substantial update to Cyberpunk was in the middle of August. The last update we got in general was a month and a half ago, but that update a month and a half ago was bare bones. It really did not contain a lot of fixes, and in fact, a significant portion of the fix were rectifying issues that were brought about by the 1.3 update. So it was basically undoing newly added bugs. And with this new hypothetical timeline, that'll mean that from the middle of August, the next time we get a substantial update, potentially, for Cyberpunk, will probably be the middle of January at the earliest. This is assuming they do celebrate the holidays and then have to actually go back to the office, so there's going to be a little bit of downtime around the holiday season with New Year's. And to put that into perspective, that would mean there's about a five-month gap in between major patches, which seems massive, and that's the best case scenario. That's assuming right at the start of the new year, they actually do have something to deliver, which hopefully that's the case, but that's wild. That would mean that Cyberpunk would be 13 months old at that point, and for the last five months hadn't actually gotten any kind of updates. In the past, when talking about progress on Cyberpunk 2077 being slow, I had a CDPR employee reach out to me and say, one of the reasons things really started to slow down was crunching stopped. They were working more reasonable hours, and that's why these updates did start to slow down. But obviously this marks a significant transition and the updates being significantly slower with a gap this size, this close to the initial release. It's not like this is a three-year-old game now. But unless they're having some other internal difficulties, like they got hacked again or something happened internally, the only way I can see this making sense is if they're really trying to hold out for a huge big re-release, more or less. They said the next-gen update's coming at some point in Q1, so maybe that comes with a giant patch and it's finally justification 
motivation to return and it really adds in a ton of stuff but even just if you look at some of their quotes over the past few months it kind of seemed like we were about to be getting to that point where they were going to start improving some of those existing systems they kept saying how the first focus was on fixing bugs and they were making progress on that and it really seemed like we we're kind of crossing the hill where then it would start improving things like potentially the police ai or other aspects of the game itself not just fixing bugs so time will tell i mean technically we could all just be misinterpreting this we haven't really gotten official clarification from cdpr as far as i can tell but yeah and what is genuinely probably the most confusing update around this game thus far we're not getting any more content for the rest of this year none of those free dlcs none of the updates it's all coming in 2022 and obviously this makes me think that the actual expansion for the game may be coming in late 2022 not the first half as i was previously predicting although at the same time something else going on right now with cd project fred is they actually acquired a new game development studio that with the molasses flood and the interesting part about this is it is described how the molasses flood will be working in close cooperation with cd project red but will keep their current identity and will not be merged with existing teams the studio will be working on its own ambitious project which is based on one of cd project's ips details about the project will be announced in the future and considering cd project red is seemingly already working on the witcher 4 a lot of people are speculating that the existing ip in reference could be a new cyberpunk game on the witcher front they have quite a few games already and overall i just found this interesting i'm not really sure what kind of game this could be the molasses flood released drake hollow already which was kind of a cartoony-esque action adventure game kind of hard to imagine how cyberpunk would fit in with that but in the past cdpr has mentioned how they're really sticking or dedicated to rebuilding cyberpunk and actually getting the game to a good reputation so perhaps this fits in somehow as far as when we might know more about all of this november 30th is their next earnings release date their stock has not been doing super well as of late there's been a few positive days but mostly some negative days over the past couple of months and obviously the fact that things just continue to be relatively slow or getting pushed back is not helping that but overall i really do just find myself kind of confused at what's going on with cyberpunk and cdpr overall there's a few things that were look good or promising or just interesting like remember back when they released modding support tools and it almost looked like something might happen there but then those were never really updated again or with the release of patch 1.3 they had that call and it looked like there'd be more communication going forward and although not many people liked it i personally was a fan of that additional communication i liked the explanation they were giving there but then we never really got anything like that again either although we only got one smaller update after patch 1.3 so maybe that's why and to me it just kind of felt like they were trying different things but perhaps things weren't working super well and then they didn't really know where to land and now maybe they're trying something else almost like the no man's sky approach of not saying much of anything but there's good things on the horizon maybe for a company that's been getting a lot of criticism for their lack of communication just silently updating your roadmap to reveal there's no more content on the way is definitely surprising i don't personally think they're going to be scrapping or abandoning cyberpunk but if i didn't know better that might be what i was thinking they seemingly still have a ton of people working on this game working on the expansion so maybe they're just really trying to kick off 2022 with a bang but obviously until then we don't really know that's the update on cd project red and cyberpunk definitely an interesting one i have a feeling we're not going to be talking much about this company for the rest of the year outside of that earnings call if there's something of note with that said i thank you all again for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope to see you all next time later